Hi guys, Erica here. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you ways that you are able to go ahead and do a Google form. All right, so we know Google is free. So, um, and we know free is for me, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and um, proceed to go ahead and do a quote. Now we're able to go ahead and do several quotes through our Google forms. And again, free unlimited. There's other forms out there that you guys are able to do like drop forms, drop forms allows you to do five. And after that, you do have to pay. Um, and of course, like I said, there's of course other programs out there. But again, if you guys want to go ahead and do it for free, then we will go ahead and go and look into Google forms. And I'll go ahead and give you some tips and tricks and tell you guys how to actually go about it. Um, just in case you guys don't know, uh, so again, we're teaching everything from scratch. So like that, you guys are able to go ahead and succeed in the long run. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and share my screen here really quick. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that you guys have a Google account, right? And of course, let me move out of the way over here. You guys are going to go ahead and see this. What do you see these right here? You're going to see this little um, um, kind of kit looking thingy, <laughs> right? Um, and you're going to see these little dots right here. So if you guys click on these, you guys are, are going to be able to see a whole bunch of stuff on here. So the main thing that we want to go ahead and do is going to be the forms, okay? So um, that is what we're looking for. And you guys are going to go ahead and go under a blank one to go ahead and make one new. Now it's up to you what you guys want to go ahead and do as a quote form. So you guys are able to go ahead and put this as a quote form, quote form. Right. If you guys are specializing in something specific in particular, for example, um, I'm more of a Disney person. Right. So I would call this, for example, a Disney quote. Right. Disney quote form. Or anything like that. If you guys are doing cruises, cruise. Cruise quote form. Whatever you guys want to name it, you guys are able to. Remember, you guys are able to do as many as you want with these. So you can have several different ones as well. All right. So let's just go ahead and... um. Just do a general quote form, right? All right, and you guys are able to add a description here. Let the person know what this is. So you can go ahead and um, put, you know, I'm here to help you. Um, I'm here to make all your, you know, everything better for you. Whatever little side note or anything you guys want to go ahead and add on here, you guys are able to do so as well. If you guys have no idea what to go ahead and do or how to go about it, there's different uh, forms out there that you guys are able to do. You can go ahead and ask your mentor. You can ask your platinum, your gold. You can ask in a chat. Um, but you guys are more than welcome to look for me. Okay. So you guys are able to go ahead and go under my link tree. Okay. Which is linktree.ee slash Erica for travel. And on here, you guys are able to see that I have to a Disney quote and a general quote. Again, if you guys are specializing on something specific that you guys want to go ahead and advertise, make sure that you do a separately, completely different quote form for it because we already know what questions we're asking, right? Of course, if you guys click onto my Disney quote, it's completely different, right? Because I, I already know what to ask compared to my general questionnaire, which is a whole bunch more as you guys are able to see. It keeps just going and going, all right? So if you guys already know which vendor you're using, if you're using Disney, if you're using Universal, if you guys are doing honeymoon, if you guys are doing cruises, you already know what questions to ask, right? What days are going? Let's just say they're going for uh, is the cruise, right? Do they want the middle, the back, or the front? Is, do they want balcony view? So all those questions, as in the general quote, you guys are not able to go ahead and answer, uh, have those questions. Does that make sense? So make sure that if it's just a general quote, that's perfectly fine. You guys are more than welcome to look at mine. Um, as you guys can go ahead and see, I put you deserve a vacation. We are here to satisfy all your travel needs. So all of these little things, you guys are able to go ahead and um, plug in in here if you guys wish to go ahead and do so. Okay. Now, again, this is general questionnaire, general questionnaire. We always want to go and make sure that you know their name, email, phone number, right? You guys don't need to know their address, but um, these are just regular questionnaires for everything and anything. If you guys are too broad out there, this is going to be a little bit more complicated and you're always going to be on the phone with your client. That's what I'm saying. If you guys know what you guys are booking, right? I would rather you guys go ahead and do a form for that. And in your link tree, go ahead and plug it in there so they can know and go into your link tree. And guess what? If they want a Disney quote, boom. If they want a universal quote, boom. If they want to go ahead and do a honeymoon if they want to do tickets or whatever, if you're advertising something as of right now, right? Like you have flyers and 
um, you're advertising, I don't know, um, let's just say the Olympics or advertising a certain concert or something like that, you guys are able to go ahead and do just a form specifically just for that so they can go in there, answer those questions, and you can go ahead and get back to them ASAP. Does that make sense? So those are some examples that I can go ahead and give you as well. Now on here, let's just say I'm just going to go ahead and put, um, you deserve this one. Just You guys are more than welcome to copy and paste my information if you guys wish to do so um, as well. Okay. So I don't want it as, that's there you go. And of course, you're able to go ahead and move it around if you wish to, anything like that. All right, so questions are the basic, right? We wanna go ahead and make sure what their name is. So first and last name, so first and the last name, okay? And we can go ahead, and what you guys are gonna be able to do is you click here, and it's either gonna be short answer or a paragraph, either or, you can go ahead and do whichever one you want. Make sure you click here that it's required for them to go ahead and fill it out, because if they don't, you're not gonna know who you're contacting, okay? You guys are able to, if it's going to be the same stuff, all of these, like questionnaires like these, you can just easily go ahead and go right here where it says duplicate, boom. And it's going to make the exact same one. All you have to do here is now change it, right? Now we're going to want their phone number. So phone number. Here we're going to change it to numbers. Or if need to be, I would need to change it, but I don't see any numbers file update. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. So there you go. I can go ahead and change it to short, right? Because if it's something small and it's, as you guys can see, it's already a requirement that they have to do. My next question, depending on what it is, right? Um, Let's go into my questionnaire. I have their name, their email, phone number, address. Like I said, you don't need the address. Best way to, you can go ahead and reach them. I can go ahead and add that too in there. Um, If you guys are asking for their email, right? So I can go ahead and go in here and put email okay let's just do that uh, another one right and this one was going to be what's the best way to reach you if you guys are asking some questions like these here you guys are going to go ahead and do either a uh, multiple choice check box or drop down either or right if i want to go ahead and do multiple choice i can go ahead and put email text or call Okay. And as you guys are able to see, it's required. Okay. I'm going to click right here again. So my next question, um, depending on what it is, let's go into my quote. What type of vacation do they want to go ahead and do? So again, you guys kind of give you guys an idea, right? Because I don't want to go ahead and go through all of these step by step. But again, you guys are more than welcome to go into mine. Okay. Go into mine. Uh, copy paste that. Look it up. Look under my quotes. See what you guys like out of it does not have to be exactly the same information. Okay. You guys are able to remove some, add some, however you feel that you want to go ahead and do this. All right. The awesome part too, it's arrive date, return date. Again, you guys are able to change that up too, right? Leaving, for example, or departing. We're able to change these to a date. See, they can actually do it as date. So you guys can go ahead and mess around with this too. So you, the normal ones that you are, make sure that you use are going to be short answers and paragraph. The difference is the short answer is kind of like one sentence. The paragraph would be like for longer. So if you're asking like, um, let's just say we're asking a general question at the end. Like, um, um, I think I have this question on here as well towards the end. Okay, here we go. Please include anything special or extra that I need to know, including any type of restrictions. So if you guys want to go ahead and add that, something like that onto there, then um, since it's a bigger kind of thing, then you guys are going to go ahead and change that to a paragraph because now they're able to go ahead and write a whole bunch of stuff in there compared to a short answer. Makes sense. So that's the difference between short answer, as you guys can see, is just very basic, like one line. A paragraph is several lines um, on there. Multiple choice, checkbox, drop down. Those are kind of whatever you special want to go ahead and do um, on there. And um, that's pretty much it. Unless you're going to do the dates, which is like return date, um, come back, right? Departure, coming back. Those are the only times that you'll go ahead and put the dates. Um, that's the only thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do. The cool part about this that is that 
it it does this automatically okay it, it this saves it automatically if you guys go ahead and wish to do so if you guys want to add like a little bit of touch either you put your little logo or add something in there if you guys go under here where it says customize theme you can click on it let me move myself again all right let me turn myself off okay you guys are able to go ahead and click on it and you guys are able to choose colors that you guys are able to go ahead and do like if you have a certain color for your brand um you guys are able to put here where it says header right you can choose an image to add they either have some images that you guys are able to go ahead and include in there if you guys wish to use these or you guys can go ahead and upload some pictures um and what happens is if you guys choose right what happens is it's going to go ahead and let's do insert it's going to be up here it usually gives you also like kind of a, a colors to go with as you guys can go ahead and see if you guys go ahead and do a picture if you guys don't you have a whole bunch of colors you are able to do but you guys are able to go ahead and utilize this customize it to your liking all right so that's a cool part you are able to do you can either do a logo on here or you can do like vacation whatever you guys want to go ahead and do and customize it as well you guys are able to see this little eye right here if you click on it you guys are able to view it like if it was like you were actually if this was somebody actually doing the quote okay so this is what they're going to go ahead and see okay so you also have that availability to do so so we have the customizing we have this one if you kind of messed up and you're like darn it i don't i don't like any of this let me go back you see how it goes back to you guys it, un it undo it undoes what you have done okay so let's just say i'm like darn and you know what i actually like that purple after all you go ahead and do redo and it goes ahead and changes it back to whatever you guys originally had so that's the quick part you either can undo or redo Make sure that you're still on this because if you close this and try to go in, it's not going to have a undo button on here because you're starting new from that. Okay. Um, click right here. You can name it whatever. If you click automatically, it's going to name it whatever you name it here. So if you don't want it to be named that, you can uh, cl click here and name it whatever you want. When you want to go ahead and share this, there is a link to share it. Go ahead and click send. It. Okay. From here, what you're going to use. Let me go ahead and show it right. Here. Okay, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click right here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and shorten it. So this is what we are going to go ahead and use to go ahead and put in our linked tree. Okay, so you see once I click on my links, you see how it takes me there? So you see how it's up here? So regardless if you guys are using Linktree or if you're using Beacons or if you're using Solo, whatever you guys are using, that's what you need to go ahead and do this link to go ahead and add it onto whatever links you guys have. So like that somebody can click on it and it's going to go ahead and send them to your form for you to go ahead and fill that out. All right. That's how you guys are able to do so. If you do it without, it's going to be a big link. So make sure that you click shorten it so it can be shorter for you to do. And that's the only thing you need to go ahead and do as well. This goes ahead and lets you know. Um, also, when somebody fills this out, it, you will get an email letting you know that it filled it out. Okay. Um, you either can go ahead and collect email addresses automatically, right? Or do not collect or respond your input. You have those options too automatically. So just do verified um, like that. It can automatically do it as well, just in place. Um, and again, the only thing you need out of this would be the link, this right here. And that's what you're going to go ahead and copy and paste it into wherever you guys need to go ahead and add that, okay? Regardless if it's going to be in your links where your link tree is, or if you're, you know, posting a flyer and you know, you're putting like a whole bunch of words and then, you know, it says, you know, fill out the form and you can put that in there. That's why it's shortened because you, we don't want that big thing on there. So this is another form you guys are able to go ahead and use. Like I said, Google Forms, you guys are able to do as many of these as you guys want. So let's just say you're doing, you're specializing in Disney, you're specializing in Universal, you're specializing in cruises, you're specializing, I don't know, in weddings, you guys can do different quotes forms for all of those. So like that is not a big form for a general quote and you guys try to figure everything out. 
Okay, so if, if you know specifically some information from each specialty that you guys are doing, that's even better because they can go ahead and shorten your time frame and their time frame as well. And you guys are able to contact them also. All right. So again, the quotes, um, the uh, questions, all of that, guys, are up to you specifically. If um, you have anything you guys want to specifically ask, you're more than welcome to add those to your quotes. Remember, at the end of the day, this is your business. All right. You guys do as you guys wish to. And we're just here to go ahead and help you and guide you throughout the process. All right, guys. So hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit um, to kind of understand how uh, to go ahead and make these Google Forms. If you guys need have any further questions, concerns, please reach out to your mentor or your platinum or your gold to go ahead and get that extra help. Even the chats are there available for you as well. All right, guys. Again, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you next time. You guys have a nice rest of your day. Enjoy. Bye.